What's up, my pilots? Angry Poncho here. Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Platinum Punchlock. This is the finale, our battle with the champion. Now, I know from comments in the past that this is going to be Cynthia. I don't know what types she uses. I don't know a single thing about any of her Pokemon, except that the highest level they have is level 62. So, it's going to be about an even match. We're at 63, and we're down one Pokemon. It should, looks like it might be a 5-on-5, five five, but it almost... Almost perfectly even in levels. It's going to be a close one, I know that. You guys have warned me that she is definitely the best trainer in the game. So, we're going to, we're going to give it all our all. We're going to leave with Belle, try for Stealth Rocks. We'll see what she leads with. Might have to change. Maybe we'll switch to Badass, go for Toxic Spikes. Either way, I want an Entry Hazard to help me with this battle. Because if I'm going to waste turns healing, I want to at least get some Poison Damage going or something. And although it is sad that Toggle is not with us for this battle, it does seem fitting that, you know, Toggle, Toggle shouldn't have to face the trainer that gave him away as an egg. I feel like that would be just, like, inappropriate to ask him to be a part of that. You know, just so, I guess, it all works out in the end. Alright, our Pokemon are healed and ready to go. Let's do this. Oh wow, I was thinking it's to grab me and pull me like it does in some of the other games. Force you to walk down the really long hallway automatically. Alright, let's gather our focus here. Best tactics, everything we've got. Have you been keeping well? Thank you for Mount Coronet, and for the Distortion World. I'm truly grateful. Together, you and your Pokémon overcame all the challenges you faced, however difficult. It means you- that means you've triumphed over any personal weaknesses, too. The power you learned, I can feel it emanating from you. But that's enough talk. Let's get on with why you're here. As the Pokemon League Champion, I accept your challenge. Versus... Cynthia. Ooh, the music is epic. Oh boy. And she's got six. Oh, we're down a poke. Oh boy. Spiritomb. Oh, leading with a Pokemon with no weaknesses. That's lovely. That's a ghost type, dark type, exerting pressure. Oh boy, on Bell. Bell is taking neutral damage from Ghost and Dark type moves. So I feel okay. Is the background dark now? It's not normally dark. Wow. I feel like a Stealth Rock's a good idea here. Is she a Ghost type user? That would really suck if I had lost my Shadow Ball with Toggle and it was a Ghost type leader. Oh no. Alright, Stealth Rock's coming in. I'm faster than Spirit Tomb. Yeah, that's good to know. Shadow Ball it is. How much is that going to do? Yes, ooh, not much. I know Spiritomb's not a super powerful attacker, but, you know, it should be better than that. Alright, Ghost Dark. We can go for a Flash Cannon if we want. Will Ghost-type moves? I guess Confuse Ray will affect Spiritomb. We're faster, so it's a good move to go for now, I think. A uh, Flash Cannon's not going to do a whole heck of a lot. And against a Pokemon with no weaknesses, I do think Bell is my best option here. Oh man, I forgot to say hit yourself, that's why I went through. <laughs> that's what it was. Okay, we're safe for another Shadow Ball, even if it gets a crit, so we'll get a Flash Cannon off. Long pause at the end of that move. Ooh, wow, that's a 3 hit KO. And out of confusion after one turn! Oh man! Come on. Dark Pulse. Alright, time to heal. This is a Hyper Potion I'm using, right? Hyper Potion, okay. I saw that berry down there and I was like, don't accidentally use a berry! Oh my god. That would be... <laughs> catastrophic. It's just... <laughs> oh man. Alright. Dark Pulse it is. Let's see how much health damage this does here. Let's count it. 184 down to... Alright, 43. Flash Cannon. This will get him low enough that Cynthia will use one of her items. This shouldn't be a finishing move unless we get a crazy damage range. Yeah, that's red. What?! It's a crit! Whoa! Wow, first crit in my favor in a significant battle, I think. Nice. Well, Bell, you took down one. Five to Garchomp. Oh, Garchomp. Oh, man. What do you do with a Garchomp? 
Level 62. This is her best Pokemon. Holy crap, she's taking this seriously. Alright. What do we do against a ground a guard jump? Ground type moves are gonna miss. Bell levitates. I don't know if she knows that. I guess she shouldn't, she hasn't seen it. But then again, the game might just know that automatically. Dragon type moves will be resisted by steel. Fire Fang. He's carrying Fire Fang. Bell's only weakness. It's a physical move. High attack on the Garchomp, but it's not a stab, but it's a low base power. Bell is strong enough to take a Fire Fang, I think. And a Confuse Ray would be so great against the Garchomp with a high attack. Okay, do I stay in or do I switch? I can bring in Yeti and go for a Blizzard, or even an Ice Shard, maybe, uh, with four times damage. It's gonna resist ground, take neutral to dragon, and be killed by Fire Fang. So, I guess I have to go for the Confuse right here. Oh, fingers crossed we don't get something crazy coming out. Flamethrower! Okay, well, Garchomp's a physical attacker. What is that gonna do? You can do it, Bell. Oh! A critical hit! Oh, Bell should have been able to take that hit! I know Bell could have done that! Garchomp's a physical attacker! Oh, man! Flamethrower didn't even cross my mind! No one puts a flamethrower on a Garchomp? Fire Fang does more damage! Oh, man. The critical hit! What do I do now? Garchomp is gonna outspeed Yeti. That flamethrower will take him down. Blaze, taken down by an earthquake. Same for Badass. Scorpia? Oh, man. Scorpia might be our last chance. Oh, what do we do against the Garchomp? I gotta think for a second here. I don't have... Oh, I don't have any moves to get... I don't have Toxic. Toggle's gone. You go for Blaze, but the Earthquake is coming in no matter what. The poison Jab's not gonna do much. Ah, oh, Badass could Hydro Pump. Bad badass has Blizzard. Ah, oh, will Badass be faster? I don't know, the Earthquake's gonna do super effective damage to Badass. So that's not a good option. Because that's a stab Earthquake from Garchomp. That's gonna finish Badass off. Same thing for Blaze. Yeti. Yeah, Yeti's gonna get a flamethrower if he comes in. He's gonna go second. Unless I use Ice Shard. Hmm. But then Yeti will definitely get taken down by the flamethrower if the Ice Shard doesn't finish. It's a physical move. I don't know how good Garchomp's defense is. I think, I mean, it's, it's decent. Garchomp, it's good. Garchomp's a pseudo-legendary. Garchomp's a good Pokemon. Oh, what do we go for here? Scorpia... Doesn't have a stab move in the, there's no there's no way to set up a stone or uh, a sword stance against something as powerful as a Garchomp. He will uh, resist ground or be immune to ground. Oh man, what do I what do I do? What do I do? Yeti it's with Ice Shard doing a stab, four times damage, and a hail damage. Can we take out a Garchomp? I think it's our best bet at this point. Oh man, this is... Ooh, 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 this does not feel good. This does not feel good. Okay. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Here goes nothing. Maybe everything. Come on. Come on. Not even close. What's he doing? Got a citrus berry or some shit? I'm not taking a flamethrower. Yet he's gone. Oh, damn. Yeah, I'm the one who's watching this. Yet he's gone. Oh, no. Yet he was supposed to be our. What? Yet he took the flamethrower! <laughs> it's a miracle! Ice Shard will finish off the Garchomp now. Oh my god, Yeti! You're amazing! I told you Garchomp wasn't a special attacker! No one puts Flamethrower on a Garchomp! Do it, Yeti. Finish him.
Yes! Yes! Whew. Down goes the Garchomp. It's four on four, Cynthia. Your move. Cario. Fighting. Steel. Both not shining. Both are not. Neither one is smiling down on Yeti. Okay. He's weak to fighting and steel. Yeti's coming out. Can't even stay in to heal. Who fights Lucario? Scorpio's an okay choice here. Blaze. Oh, Yeti. Oh, Lucario could have Earthquake. He's almost certainly going for like a close combat on this turn. Hmm. So Blaze could go for a Flare Blitz. If I brought in Blaze, I could try and take a hit and then go for a Flare Blitz. It's going to be super effective. So, is that what I want? It's a Fighting-type move. Badass could also come in, but Poison-type's out. Uh, it's either Blaze or Scorpia here. Scorpia is probably going to take the close combat pretty well. It's resisted. And then Scorpia can respond with what I wish was Earthquake, but it's Stone Edge. It's going to be resisted, actually. So is x Scissor and so is Night Slash. So Blaze is the only one that can actually hit this Lucario with some power. Is this Lucario going to have, like, an Earthquake or something going on, though? That's the question. Or Earth Power? I don't... I'm trying to remember what moves Lucario learns naturally. I feel like he learns a Ground-type move. So I'm, I'm going to... I'm almost certain Lucario has a ground-type move. So the question is, can... In the hail, that doesn't affect Flare Blitz's power, I don't think. I think it's only rain. So, Blaze should still be faster, but can I live through the recoil, and can I finish Lucario in one hit? Oh, man. Scorpio's gonna have a hell of a hard time. I think Blaze is our best option here. Extreme speed. Okay. It's not a stab move. It's a physical shot. How much is that going to put? Oof, a lot. And the hail damage. Now with two turns of hail on Lucario, can I finish with a Flare Blitz? I feel like ground type move coming on. Oh, Flare Blitz. It's going to be super effective. It's a stab. It's a high power move. I think I'm faster. I'm going to try it. Come on, Blaze. Yes! Woo! Alright. It's a lot of recoil, but we're going to get some Shell Bell off of that one. 54. Up to 73. Like 20 points on the Shell Bell. Nice. Alright. Another turn of Hail, which means Blaze is either getting healed or coming out on this next turn. Three left. Melodic. Water type. Blaze is not staying in under any conditions. Those Stealth Rocks are helping. I wonder if that Stealth Rock mattered on that last hit. Oh boy. Alright, Blaze is coming out. Question is who's coming in? Uh, Scorpio is weak to water. Badass resists it. I think Badass is the right option here. Let's see, Badass is going to resist water. What else is Malak going to have? Ice, maybe? He's going to resist that, too. Maybe he'll go, maybe she'll go for something crazy. I don't know. Badass can take it. He's a tank. Alright, you're coming in. What you got? Surf? Yeah, figured. Resist that move. Nice. Nothing doing. The hail is going to continue on and on. It's not going to end because it's a perma hail. It's not a five turn thing. Okay. Now, what happens next? Water resists water, but I've got the sludge bomb. I could try and set up toxic spikes if I don't think she's got anything really. He's got, or she's got anything. It's uh, Cynthia. He's got anything really awesome when it's melodic. I am going to go for the toxic spikes late game, but with Stealth Rocks and Toxic Spikes, these last two Pokemon are going to be weakened significantly. Ah! Mirror Coat. Not going to do much. I'm really glad I didn't go for Sludge Bomb now. Alright, well now I know that I want... Oh, gosh. 
I want another turn of Toxic Spikes is what I want. I'm, I'm worried to go for a Sludge Bomb and then get a Mirror Coat on me. I'm gonna use another Toxic Spikes. Mirror Coat! Yeah, failed again. It looks like he's gonna, she's gonna keep going for Mirror Coat. What do I do on this, in this situation? Do I just let the hail keep coming and, until I can one-shot with Sludge Bomb? Melodic is a bulky Pokemon. Now I have Blizzard, but Ice, it's going to be perfect accurate in, in the hail, but Ice and Water is going to resist that. So do I want to use it and then go for the Sludge Bomb on the next turn? Uh, Blizzard is going to do less. Okay, Stab Sludge Bomb is like 90 times 1.5 is like 45, 135, it's stronger than Blizzard, and it's resisted. So I could hit him with a Blizzard, try and soften him up a little bit, and then Sludge Bomb on the next turn. So I think I can stand double Blizzard for myself. This is a calculated risk here, that's for sure. A nothing, okay. Not fearing the Mirror Coat there. Now it's time to heal. One more turn of Hail damage. This Melodic is really bulky, I need to think before I try and go for a Sludge Bomb and end up killing myself with a Mirror Coat. Let's heal. So we're kind of walling each other out right now, so I'll just I'll allow it. All right, now was it a mirror coat? Dragon Pulse. Why you been holding that one back? Just really likes the mirror coat, I guess. Maybe he figured he could do more damage. Now, can I finish with a Sludge Bomb from this range? That's the question. I don't think I can. But if I get hit back double and it doesn't finish him... Ah... Let's try. It is Stab. And he's holding the Poison Barb, so maybe this will be enough. Oh, just barely not. Oh god. Oh, come on! Oh, that's way too close! The hail! The hail is gonna kill us both! Oh, no! Oh, badass! Oh, man. The walls have fallen. Jeez. Oh, man. How many Pokemon does he have left? I can't even go back and see. Uh, well, or she has left, rather. I guess I'll bring in Scorpia here, obviously, with the most health. Let's see what comes in. Togekiss. You know, miss the poison, but get double from the stealth rocks. Alright. Special attacking. Ah, I'm a defensive set. Dang. Flying. Stone Edge. Arcus is fast, but is it faster than Scorpia? Oh boy. It's not a bad idea, I think, to take this turn to heal Yeti. Because that hail is still going, so if I want to get Yeti back in here on the blizzard, I can. Water Pulse. Not what I expected, and I'm weak to it. It's not a stab move, and it's low power, so I should be able to take it. Yeah, okay. We didn't, I, didn't, I didn't get the confusion either, that's good. Alright, well... Pogacus is going to take some hail damage, I guess. Oh, what do I do now? Do I, do I try the Stone Edge? Am I going to be faster? Let's go for it. Come on! Get a crit or something! Go crazy! Yes! Oh, the critical hit! Stone Edge has a high critical hit rate, and I have Scorpio holding the item to raise for critical hit rate. So that was, again, a calculated risk. Awesome. I think Cynthia just has one Pokemon left. Roserade. Poison Grass. Poison Spikes are gone. Stealth Rock's still doing damage. Alright. I can't remember the last time I was put in a corner like this. Okay. Okay, the 
poison type moves. I want to bring Yeti in and get hit by a sludge bomb. Uh, Scorpia. It's going to resist poison. Actually, I take neutral from grass. So. I'm. Oh, what's he, he going to try and do? Poison me? I have X Scizor. But the bug is going to be resisted by the poison, so that's only neutral. What about dark? It might be better to go with. Yeah, it'd be better to go with Night Slash, because it's going to have a high crit rate. And it's not going to be. It's not going to be. Uh, it's going to be a higher power move, I think. Actually, it's... I don't know. Anyway, the crit rate makes it, makes it better, I think, Night Slash. Do I heal? I'm gonna heal on this turn. I want to scout what this Rosarade is carrying. It's Cynthia's last Pokemon, so I don't want to screw it up now. Let's see what comes out. Toxic. Oh, you missed! That is hugely good luck. That's only a 15% chance to miss. But it does happen. I've had I haven't blessed with great luck in these battles. Let's try a night slash. Come on, get another crit, Scorpia. Finish it with style. Ah, not quite. Energy ball. All right. Ooh, high powered. Hail, and then I should be able to finish here with another night slash. All right. I won't let this end yet! This match is too fun to let it end this easily! If I finish around this turn, I'm gonna laugh so hard. Yes! And that... is that. Oh man, I'm just... Yes! I'm elated! Just a few minutes ago, you were just the most powerful challenger, and just now you became the most powerful of all trainers. You are our newest champion. Oh, I'm sky high right now! That was excellent. Truly an outstanding battle. You gave the support your Pokémon needed to maximize their power, and you guided them with certainty to secure victory. You have both passion and calculating coolness. Together, you and your Pokémon can overcome any challenge that may come your way. Those are the impressions I got from our battle. I'm glad I got to take part in the crowning of Sinnoh's new champion. Come with me, we'll take the lift. The Hall of Fame. The room ahead is the Hall of Fame. Rowan shows up, you good for nothing. Poncho, your last battle was splendid! Oh, hello, Professor Rowan. Hmm. A child unlisted from my Pokedex products has come this far. It's only natural that I come and witness the child's crowning glory. Poncho, I shouldn't call you a child anymore. You've grown into a real champion. Professor, you still enjoy the enthusiasm kids bring to your research, don't you? Step this way, Poncho. It's been a long while since I last entered this room. If your last time here was when I became champion, then yes, that would be quite a long time ago. <laughs> what, was, uh... Was Rowan the champion before her? That would be weird. Poncho, welcome to the Hall of Fame. Your names will be recorded here for posterity. What you are leaving are the memories of your adventure so far. It's time to record your names. You and your Pokémon. Remember, your Pokémon are partners that grew with you through many challenging battles. This machine will make a permanent record of your achievement. Bell, level 64, met in Wayward Cave. Badass, level 63, met at Route 223. Scorpia, level 64, met in Route 206. Blaze, level 64, meta route 210. Yeti, level 63, meta route 216. And Toggle, level 63, hatched at Eterna City. League champion. Congratulations. And let's not forget all the Pokemon in Valhalla. This was for them. We made a promise. And I couldn't keep it to every Pokemon. We made it to the end. We found victory. 
and we did it in honor of those who died before us. This has been an amazing LP. I have so sincerely enjoyed the making this series. I pushed my editing to new levels, making the videos more polished. I pushed my game challenge to more levels by doing a Nuzlocke run when I'd never done one before. And we overcame some serious challenges. You guys gave me great comments throughout the entire series, and I'd like to give a special thank you to you pilots who comment all the time. You guys are super awesome, and you really helped me out in this series. Thank you so much for being so great. 71 hours put into this project, and I don't regret a minute of it. Probably double that in the editing. <laughs> wow, that is just awesome. I, oh, I'm so glad we made it to the championship. I was so worried that we were going to get to the Elite Four, and you guys had me prepared for really nasty battles, and it got nasty in the end there. We lost Toggle. Oh, man. Yeah, we just... Oh. I'm just, I'm in a haze right now. I'm not even thinking straight. <laughs> hmm. Right, well, we found success. And I think we, I'm, I'm, I'm really just at a loss for words right now. I'm kind of floundering. So I don't know what to say. We did it. We won. We got to the end. And just, Yeti took that flamethrower. Oh my god, I just, I, oh, I thought we were done. I thought my goose was cooked. Oh, jeez, that just, that was so astounding. Oh, man. Just awesome. So great. Thank you guys for helping me make this one of the best LPs I think I've ever done. It was super awesome, super fun to do, and I am so glad we found success in the end. So once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next LP.